Hi, it's the first of the month, and this happens to be January 1st of 2019. And um, I am doing this one late tonight, but um, it's still the first, so still counts. Um, I'm going to open in prayer, and right now I'm focusing on income and provision, and I just watched a whole bunch of videos from an entrepreneur on YouTube. Um, and, uh, I am really grateful for him. Um, what's it called? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm really grateful. I was not motivated today. I was really frustrated, and, um, I think the big thing, value-tainment is the is the name on that YouTube channel and um, yeah I gave some good stuff so um, apparently I need to work on honing my sales skills and uh, you know I'm when I'm talking to people about something I'm passionate about I don't even think of it as selling it's just something that I'm passionate about and so then um, it's fun when, you know, stuff happens and groups of us get together and we play music and do stuff. But now I got to figure out how to do that with the coloring thing. And I still have to have time to practice and do paperwork. So, um, learning to buckle down and, and figure out how to pull it all together is definitely going to be a challenge, but I, I know I can do it. And I know I have to give myself the time to accomplish it. Um, one of the things I really like that he said is that um, part-timers work 40 hours, full-timers work 60 hours, and all-in timers work 80 hours. And I realized that, uh, that you know, I've gone through ups and downs with the amount of hours, but as a mom with four kids with special needs, you know, you kind of run around the clock. And when you can finally rest, you rest. And when you have to go, you go. And it's a reactive life. And so now I get to be, fun I have to retrain myself to not have a reactive life. And uh, one of the things I really appreciated that he's talked about was um, the all-in timers, the 80-hour week people have um, something that they're really good at and they do it for 20 to 40 years. Um, people who are full-timers, the 60 hours a week, they change about every five to 10 years into a new industry. And part-timers change every two to four years a new industry. And so I, I it occurred to me that you know, I started having my kids 21, 20, I was pregnant 22 years ago with our first. And um, so technically I'm an all in timer with my first industry of, of having my children and being a full-time mom and they happened to have special needs. So we were at the doctors all the time advocating paperwork it was exhausting, but you know, I was all in and, um, and it was not easy, but now I'm in this next start of my life and the old is, is officially over. My children are grown and the ones that have needs are getting them met by other people and I am no longer responsible for them in that way anymore. So um, it's time to reinvent how I expect myself to function and and uh, it's time to follow the music and the prayer and the coloring and the YouTube and the Fiverr and the Etsy and, and all of that stuff and getting together with people and um, volunteering with hospice and um, which I get to start doing this Friday. I'm really excited about it. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about working with the hospice company Heart and Home here in La Grande, and uh, 
I'm, I'm stoked actually. I love, I love connecting with people and, um, and connecting with them with music and, and talking and chatting. And so I'm really excited about this. And, um, so I know I'm on the right path. I just got to figure out how to do it. You know, I'm grateful that they compensate for mileage because that'll pay for my trip into town and back. And, and then, uh, you know, I can spend that time ministering to people and, at the same time, I get to hone my skills with music, and um, eventually I'll be good enough to to get some gigs and record some songs and sell some stuff and CDs and working with Dave with the songs he's written, and um, he's still writing songs, I think, and so he's planning on, he's got them in his head, they're, they're percolating in there, and um, yeah, I'm really excited about about making this happen I just have to retrain myself and one of the other things he talked about was that part-timers have two to four distractions or setbacks a year and and I've had two to four like every other month for years so it's like now I have to retrain that a full-timer is somebody who has one a year and an every uh, and an all in timer has one every like five years or something I'm like what what would that life be like I, I don't know that life <laughs> that would be amazing to have one the major distraction or setback you know like he talked about you know a bankruptcy or a divorce or um, you know, a, a death in the family, stuff like that. And it's like, you know, anything huge, you know, so I'm already, I already know that I'm probably moving this year and I'm starting this business stuff and, you know, two different career paths that hopefully will intersect somehow into, into a thriving business with, you know, a couple of different branches of modeling of stuff. And, and, uh, reinventing myself I mean all of that stuff and then you know I have adult children so there's gonna be events and activities and things that are you know gonna gonna distract me I'm sure but um, yeah the mindset that I could have one major setback or major distraction every five years is just it's incomprehensible to me at this point. I, I don't I don't know what that is and I would love I would love to have that life. That would be amazing. Um that would be amazing. Anyway, I will get on with this. I'm gonna open in prayer. Um this picture just it was fun to color the pink today. I didn't know the mountains would be pink, but that's where God led me, so the mountains are pink, so <laughs> that's kind of fun. And uh, so I have Psalms split up into five months, um, but that means that sometimes the 31st and the 1st is the same chapter. And so this is day one, and so I'll be reading the 31st chapter of Psalm, even though we reread it yesterday. But it keeps it on track so that tomorrow it'll be 32nd, you know, and so on. So. Um, and it worked out, it worked out good with being able to get all the Psalms in, in a five month period. So this is day one of whatever month you're on, if you're following along. And, uh, I'm going to open us in prayer and focus on income and provision and, and God providing the money that we need. So if you'll join me in prayer and reading the Bible. I would appreciate it and if you feel like you want to share this video please um, share it with whoever you want and please subscribe and hit the bell notification for the next videos to notify you that I, when I've loaded them and um, thanks for joining me and if you like it hit the like thumbs up button Lord I thank you so much for um, for everything you provide for us for taking care of us I thank you that we can trust you. I thank you that you created us and that you love us. I thank you that you want to spend time with us. 
And I'm so grateful that, um, that we get to love you and serve you and we get to connect with people and through those connections, they can become closer to you and we can become closer to you. I'm grateful for friendship. I'm grateful for, um, I'm really grateful for last night with New Year's Eve downtown La Grande and I didn't know there was a ball that would drop and it was so, it just reminded me of how it was in New York before they digitized the ball and made it all, you know, too perfect. And I was, it was fun to see that it, it fell and hit the thing before the clock was actually on midnight. And But it was fun that it wasn't perfect and I'm so grateful that that everybody downtown was nice. They were, there were a lot of people and it was just an enjoyable, fun night with people who actually, you know, nobody was mean or rude. Nobody got into a fight that I could tell. Everybody was friendly and nice and it was just a really good evening and I'm really grateful for my time with Dave, um, that he got to go out and have some fun last night and, uh, and that, you know, we weren't just bored and doing the same old thing we always do, Lord. I'm grateful for friendship. And I thank you that you love us and that you provide for us. And I trust you that um, my bills and my needs will be provided for. And I thank you for everything that you've provided so far and that I can trust you to provide in the future. And I just thank you for each person who's listening and pray that you'll provide what they need and that you will give them the strength they need to get done whatever it is they have to get done to, to, to have your provision provided for them. I thank you that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 31. O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies set for me, for I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love, for you have seen my troubles and you care about the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies, but have set me in a safe place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me on the street, they run the other way. I am ignored as if I were dead, as if I were a broken pot. I have heard the many rumors about me, and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am trusting you, O Lord, saying, You are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. Let your favor shine on your servant, in your unfailing love rescue me. Don't let me be disgraced, O Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie silent in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic, I cried out, I am cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him. But he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. And Proverbs... One. So we're going to start Proverbs over again. And every month we read through Proverbs. 
Proverbs 1. These are the Proverbs of Solomon, David's son, king of Israel. Their purpose is to teach people wisdom and discipline, to help them understand the insights of the wise. Their purpose is to teach people to live disciplined and successful lives, to help them do what is right, just, and fair. These Proverbs will give insight to the simple, knowledge and discernment to the young. Let the wise listen to these Proverbs and become even wiser. Let those with understanding receive guidance by exploring the meaning in these Proverbs and parables, the words of the wise and the riddles. Fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. My child, listen when your father corrects you. Don't neglect your mother's instruction. What you learn from them will crown you with grace and be a chain of honor around your neck. My child, if sinners entice you, turn your back on them. They may say, come and join us. Let's hide and kill someone. Just for fun, let's ambush the innocent. Let's swallow them alive like the grave. Let's swallow them whole like those who go down to the pit of death. Think of the great things we'll get. We'll fill our houses with all the stuff we take. Come, throw in your lot with us. We'll all share the loot. My child, don't go with them. Stay far away from their paths. They rush to commit evil deeds. They hurry to commit murder. If a bird sees a trap being set, it knows to stay away. But these people set an ambush for themselves. They are trying to get themselves killed. Such is the fate of all who are greedy for money. It robs them of life. Wisdom shouts in the streets. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to those gathered in front of the city gate. How long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? Come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. I called you so often, but you wouldn't come. I reached out to you, but you paid no attention. You ignored my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble. I will mock you when disaster overtakes you. When calamity overtakes you like a storm, when disaster engulfs you like a cyclone and anguish and distress overwhelm you. When they cry for help, I will not answer. Though they anxiously search for me, they will not find me, for they hated knowledge and chose not to fear the Lord. They rejected my advice and paid no attention when I corrected them. Therefore, they must eat the bitter fruit of living their own way, choking on their own schemes, for simpletons turn away from me to death. Fools are destroyed by their own complacency, but all who listen to me will live in peace, untroubled by fear of harm. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.